welcome to another ride along with goggles and <laughs> goggles on uh <clears throat> death's doorstep <laughs> well actually i'm not feeling too bad it's a bit of a miracle that it's not worse but uh as you may know i uh, i contracted covid and tested positive saturday morning this is monday evening and uh through the graces of our medical system i've had uh three paramedic visits to the house and three 30 minute remdesivir drips and um, I feel I'm turning a corner already which is kind of wild so we'll just gotta you know keep doing the things they want me to do but kind of tired of laying around in bed so I thought uh, <clears throat> I'm a little unsteady on my feet yet so I thought well let's just go sit down downstairs and uh, so it's first crack at it and uh, enough of that uh, here we are in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. I'll have a quick look at the map. And, you know, I can't believe this. I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. I've never been to this gallon oil site before. Yikes. Well, that's kind of goofy. And uh, right by the home garage. <laughs> you can see in this profile, I've never been to the home garage here. But in all fairness, I'm in an Oklahoma City skinned truck. But here's our route. And this is a nice drive here. It would have been nice to be leaving way earlier in the morning, but that's what it is. It's, uh, what time is it? I don't have a game time until I start the, I'll have to start the truck. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, past Rollins, hang a south before Rock Springs. It's kind of a neat drive down here, actually. Oh, look at, there's a recon lobster site. Look at that. Now past bags, and I think this, if I'm not mistaken, is, oh, maybe not. Maybe the dam's over here. But anyway, we've come down to this little town we've driven through a bunch of times before uh, Wyoming came along. And, uh, or shoot over this way and down to HMS. So it's very scenic. It's a really nice drive. So let's uh, quit yakking and get on with it. Got the uh, Blueprint Modding BPM, BPM, uh, Kenworth Needle Nose 521. And man, with that reflection turned up, look at the paint job on this thing. Now, I know they used lacquer paint back in the days and it had a real gloss, but man, this thing has been polished. It is looking fine. Let's uh, hop in. Enjoy the ride. <clears throat> Now, I'll see how I do on the talking thing. Uh, yeah, it took me a little while to back here. <laughs> I haven't backed this thing up in a while, and uh, it's... I couldn't remember. I started off going, oh, yeah, I think this one's pretty easy. It's slow to back up. Now, next thing you know, the front Jeep is all over the place. Not the Jeep, the converter on the front of the pup. Is it even a converter, or is this a full-blown trailer? I can't tell. I... Oops, I'm still turning. I don't to tell. I have to see in better light. Uh oh. All that better put it in gear. Fan won't pull us. So if this little video works out and uh, all is good. Look at that. You go around that dirt road all the way around and there's the home garage. That's kind of cool. Yeah, the brakes are about par for a truck of this vintage. <laughs> Not much, in other words. I had the uh, sensitivity must be pretty low, or the truck needs a, a higher setting. I'm not sure which way that goes. We'll see how we do. If we get into a long stop somewhere, we'll have to turn them up. Oh, shoot, we don't have a GPS. Darn, I don't even have a voice nav going. We better turn that on at least. Yeah, I'll just, uh, we'll just do it. Voice nav. What do we got in this profile? Anything with the GG, Lily New Zealand GG. 
GG is the recent Goggles and Gamer. Jennifer UK. Uh, yeah, let's do Jennifer UK. Can't remember. Well, what'd she say? Nothing? Do I have the voice navigation? What? Oh, no. I can't. Whoa, stop. 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 I can't use that one. It's got music in it. Darn. Okay. Hope I don't get dinged for that. <clears throat> okay, GG. Oh, where's the New Zealand gal? Oh, well, wait a minute. Sarah 3. That's... Where's the original Sarah? Ah, I don't have it anymore. All right, Sarah 3. You must have been a terrible Boy yeah. Scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around as soon as you can. Okay. I've heard good things about you, but I was told that you roll stop signs, speed occasionally, and get lost frequently. Let's see if we can do something about these bad habits. Maybe we can make a proper driver out of you yet. She is Tell never going right now. <laughs> there she goes. She's never going to get to it. I like I told you guys in a video probably quite a while ago now about my Uncle Buster. He was a tank driver in WW2. Sherman tanks. And uh, he was, uh, he's what you would call a character. He was a decent dude. Good man, you know, Continue just... Continue straight on. Keep to the right. One of those guys who didn't have much to say unless it needed saying. And if he said something, you listen, because he's generally got some wisdom in there. Well, he's just... Keep to the left. He was shortish and stout, like, uh, he wasn't fat or anything, he was just like uh, one of those uh, fire plug kind of guys. Keep to the right, and then exit to the right. I was always really tall, I don't ever remember being shorter than him exit right. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid. But I'm sure I was at some time, just don't remember it, because I would have been pretty young. Yeah, these brakes aren't any in the right home about. But anyway, old Buster, like I say, man, a few words. Wore uh, plaid shirts, suspenders, green workman's pants, and uh, a straw hat. Keep like a straw fedora kind of thing, whatever you call those. And... Uh, we were visiting once, and uh, he had a he had a I think it was a '62 Buick Invicta, 445 Wildcat in it. I believe that's what it was. And um, we were visiting. They lived in Barrie, Ontario. And uh, Aunt March. And, uh, it was just me and my next older brother just the two the youngest two kids and my parents visiting and uh, we uh, at March wanted to take us to see this Iroquois village it was a historical recreation of the very first when the I guess it was the Jesuit fathers and whoever were messing around with the natives then and uh, they built this sort of settlement and stuff and I guess the uh, you know, as it usually is the case, the natives help them settle in, get all settled up, get them figured out, put away for the winter, and next thing you know, they give all the natives some kind of sickness. And things didn't go well for the Jesuits, because I think the Iroquois started to really not like them. And they started eating them and stuff, or whatever it was. I, I don't remember the details, to tell you the truth, but I don't know. I, I kind of, I feel there's, I feel them. I understand where they're coming from. They had a pretty good thing going. And uh, anyway, we go up to this. Uh, we're heading out. We 
You hop in the old Buick and we're on the south southwest side of Barrie. Kind of drive through town, around the downtown, past the Lake Simcoe and around and wherever, and go north. Not 100% sure of the roads or anything. But uh, <laughs> we get, oh, I don't know how far we got in town. Like it wasn't very far. We must have got 15 blocks. And uh, and Aunt Marge is just nattering away. Like, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, Aunt, Aunt Marge was a hoot. She was a lot of fun, but nice gal. There were lots of energy, salt of the earth. And uh, she was the uh, same stock as my mom, McFadden's. Anyway, long story short, Aunt Marge is nattering away at Uncle Buster. Now, Buster, I was downtown the other day and I saw the police are around here and, and he's just not saying anything. And then she's going on, oh, I wouldn't drive too fast here. There's liable to be a policeman around the corner. And then he's not saying anything. And then, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Five or six of these things are going on. I'm, I'm, I'm a little guy. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm thinking, well, probably six years old. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm thinking, ooh, this is, uh, this. My mom never doesn't say a thing when my dad's driving because my dad's a good driver. My mom's a good driver too. So it was, it wasn't an issue. They never had to say anything to each other. But anyway, I'm thinking this is a little weird because I'd never seen it before. And then. Out of the blue, Uncle Buster goes, yells out, "Damn it, woman, get your foot off the brake!" <laughs> I was, my brother, my brother and I look at each other with our jaws hanging on our chests. <laughs> yeah, that was all he said. The rest of the trip, all the way up to that uh, heritage site, and <laughs> uh, it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, Uncle Buster. But that old Buick sure rode good. Not like my 62 Cadillac, because I got that thing all hopped up and made my own rear suspension and everything for it. But similar dimension, I think. The Caddy's probably a little longer, but uses the same front windshield. Um, that's about it. Like, you know, door handles, all that kind of stuff. Nothing interchanges. It's all Cadillac. Um, but anyway, when we're heading out on that trip, I guess Aunt Marge left a hanger, coat hanger, sitting on the back trunk lid up by the rear window on one side. So I guess she'd taken something off it, put the hanger down and hopped in the car and away we went. And uh, when we got out at the uh, Indian village, there it is sitting on the trunk exactly where she put it. Yeah. So I would say Uncle Buster wasn't doing anything too wild. He wasn't driving like I do. He didn't shake that hanger loose, but it's enough to get Aunt Marge going. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a lot to be said for uh, your ancestors and stuff, and I'll tell I'll tell you, I'm the beneficiary of having a whole whack. Of, uh, my mom's side of the family was pretty big, and they. I can't think of a one of them, uncles. Bear in mind, Marge is my mom's uh, a distant relative, not a direct family, it was a McFadden. So from my mom's, well, I guess it was her cousin. Well, yeah, I guess that's pretty close to me. But anyway, my mom's brothers and sisters were unreal people. Every last eight of them, they were, they were what make things happen in the world. Those folks, they were the best. And, uh, oh, there I go getting goofy. They're a large part of why I'm me. <clears throat> Guess I better change the subject. Start out to tell a funny story. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's try that cruise control. I get that stupid thing uh, hooked up. Is it this one or this one? I forget. Try pushing that one. See if that adaptive cruise control gets turned off. Nope. It's that one. There we go. 
Now, what do we got to do? Speed it up again. Oh, it's going again. No, not that one. Oh, it's still going. Oh, I hate that thing. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Just going to have to skip the cruise control. Get our foot on the throttle. How much time and space you lose. Getting all woed up when the... And you know with the AI, they got rocket power half the time. They pull out in front of you and bing! You know, they slow you down and then they bugger off like the hounds of the Baskervilles around their heels. Dang. All right. Well, man. Okay, oh, I didn't turn the frame counter on. Shoot. Get around this corner. So, so Rollins. After this will be the next interchange south. Let's see if we can get up here and get this. Uh, oh, kind of get her pointed straight. Uh, somewhere around there, maybe. Grab that. Hit that. There we go. Whoa. Back here. Keep to the left. 60 FPS. All right, let's get a look at this thing. Oh, jeez, we don't have the roof cam. All right. Well, I guess I haven't been in this truck in forever. That thing, isn't it just a beauty? I kind of, this is the first of the seven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, we didn't hit anything. Whew, missed that sign, missed the little marker. And, the oh, right, oh. and then exit to the right. Yeah, time for me to get off this road. Let's see, is exit there a laundry right. down here? <clears throat> get ready to turn left. Go get my shorts cleaned out. Turn left now. Oh boy. Well, I'll try to be a little more circumspect about how we look around the truck. Well, it's not stuttering under the overpass. We'll see what it's like at the town at the end of the road here. Now this if you could swing coming through here, take the same route, uh, first thing in the morning. Man, if you can hit this uh, at sunrise right here. This is really nice down here. Sun coming up. Got a picture along here. Well, I think it was the Atlas Van Lines. They did a video coming over this route, actually. Took a video on that bridge with the long train. Oh, my telemetry just went down. This little Sigma Bobby, this little tablet here has got a really bad Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi for the house is that away about, I don't know, 25, 30 feet away in the family room where the kids are on their little gaming center stand with all their stuff. It's kind of sticking out on the shelf, so it projects around. But between me and them, or it, is their desk in there for doing homework and stuff. Although they're both through university now, so no more homework, but and things get put on that desk and they're we're at the right height right that uh it gets in way of that uh, little wi-fi thingy and this poor little radio and this little ten dollar screen can't handle it oh well oh you know 
How is this for a photo around here? Oh, yeah, pretty good. Let's get her straight on the road. Oh, 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 straight. I'm gonna do a photo, so I'll be back. All right. I said earlier that must have been about six of that trip, Uncle Buster, but no, I was closer to ten. Yeah. Continue straight on. It was on that visit. That's the visit. He bought that uh, Invicta. I don't know exactly when he bought it. It wasn't long before we got there because, uh oh. His car before that was, I'm thinking, a 1955, maybe a 56, right at the end of Packard. It was a Packard Clipper with the Paxton supercharger on it. Continue like the, the belt-driven centrifugal blower. Like you see them all out there now and the guys are putting them on their cars, calling them pro chargers. Oh, that's uh, a Paxton supercharger. And that's what you could get on Thunderbirds back in the day. and. The Studebaker Avanti had one, and quite a few of the uh, luxury cars had them. Clipper being one of them, Packard Clipper. Anyway, that thing was sitting in the yard. He had a fair sized yard on the outskirts of town. And by fair sized yard, I mean, mm, I'm gonna say half an acre. Oh no. I think we had to turn at the far end and come back towards us here. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, as one of his sons, maybe my cousins, Bruce and Brian, awesome dudes, <laughs> older than me and uh, older than my oldest brother and sister too, by a bit. Great guys, so. Anyway, can't remember which one. I'm gonna say Brian wrapped that old clipper around a tree and it was sitting in the yard all forlorn and beat up and written off so he got that Buick fairly close to then you must have been a terrible boy scout turn around as soon as you can ninety nine thousand four ninety three wow oh shoot I was in gear I forgot this thing isn't, I'm looking on there for my gear position to make sure I made the gear or not. It ain't working. Can't even use it for a doorstop, it's too flat. all the uh, dust and commotion being kicked up in the background along this road or maybe this one and the other one heads by the dam is that supposed to be oh it's not there oh, oh. watch where you going <laughs> I was going to say the steering is pretty good on this truck but uh, like the feel of it's pretty good but I don't have any on center feel right now well, it's probably why it feels good because it's not fighting me in that unrealistic way. I wish you could dial that in a bit.
I used to think that they maybe had the uh, Thrustmaster wheel set up properly. It was just the... Uh... Oh, here's this town. Let's watch the frames. Uh, ready to turn right. And it was just the um, Logitech dudes who were suffering. But like I mentioned before, I last year I guess it was, I bought that... Uh... Turn was right I? Now. I'll have to check if I was doing videos. If I had that Thrustmaster in any of the videos, lasts about a week. Got rid of it. I hated it. Man, it was bad. And, it, and uh, I, you know, could have been luck of the draw, like I say. But I know there was a whole lot of articles I wish I had a read first about notchiness with Thrustmaster wheels, and it could be a control problem, uh, quality control. But anyway, uh, the... Keep to the left, and then turn left. The um, force feedback was no better turn for it. Now. Yeah, the force feedback for it was pretty bad. Well, this, uh, yeah, like, this seems to be going to plan. I imagine this will be a watchable video, I hope. Um, <laughs> I don't, it's all subjective, right? It's up to the viewer. Um, what I'll do, my, what I want to do is I want to make another 149 specific video just looking at stuff in 149. If I can, uh, so I've been flat out all day resting up and, be in Have and everything else, and I got a limited amount of time down here, I imagine, putzing around here after supper. Got to get this thing edited and uploaded and stuff, and by then I'm going to be, I guess, ready to go lay down again. But if I can swing some afternoon activity tomorrow, maybe even morning, I'll see if I can do uh, uh, what'll be Wednesday's video and a little ATS look around thing. Get ready so, to 149 turn look around thing. Anyway, we'll see how we do. I'm not going to push it, but uh, at the same time, you guys know what it's like sitting around when you're sick or whatever and laying there in bed thinking, oh man, I got to get up. Well, see what the, <laughs> what's in store for us here. Oh, I got the Jake on. Does this have a switch on the dash? I don't see anything moving. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Huh. goes out into the field over this side of it. Boy, that gloss on the hood sure looks good, eh? Spent a whole day polishing this thing. Had to get the neighbor kid to do the tank. I was plum tuckered out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Crikey. I'm relieved that we have arrived safely at our destination. Why don't you run in and see the shipper receiver while I regain my composure? Oh, uh, and try blowing your horn before you back up. Okay. All right, we know this parking one. We were in here with a B double not that long ago. Maybe even the same site. Uh, well, one of them. Hey, speaking of this prefab, we got to go down to uh, a big mine in Salt Lake City soon, and we got to do the one in um, oh Colorado Springs. 
Dang, I haven't been in, I've been in that one just messing around on my own. Oh, a month or two ago. Well, that was fun. I haven't been in there in a long time. So we'll give that a go. Let's figure out what we're going to do here. We're going to make this easy on ourselves so I don't wear my old arm out here. Get a lot of blood pressure taken on it lately. Why these paramedics have been busy. What have they got on top of that? What's going on there? Got like a, a big old cover over top of that. It looks like it's uh, maybe some kind of non-collision area. But this should be pretty easy. So the trick with this one is just watch the the pup or the converter or whatever it is on this thing. If it's part of the trailer, I can't imagine being part of the trailer. Let's see if we can see. Oh darn it. It's got to have a fifth wheel on it. Anyway, you watch that wheel on it, as you can see. You get it going where you want it to go, and boy, it moves quick. So we got to think about what we're doing. I think we'll go straight for a while. Oh, am I in high range? No. Try just going straight. See, we see that rim. Oh, yeah, so the rim's starting to move. Saw it get narrower. The amount of white we can see on the rim. Now we got to make it a little bit less white on the rim because we're going the wrong way. Come on. Oh. Ah, oh, we never got it moving. Okay. Yeah, like I say, uh, to see it take off there? Wow. Pretty wild. So we want to go like this. And keep the trailer coming over this way. Oh, that's oh, that. Ooh. Yikes. It's like, oh man, what are we doing? Yeah, we lost it again. Uh, boy, when I was driving this thing around for a few days, and when I was doing the ones in uh, ETS, I can do this like nobody's business. Okay, let's think here, dude. Get it, get it right. I want the back of that trailer to come over a bit. Let's make it like we mean it. Okay, that's no, no, not that much. A little bit. Oh, take it back the other way. You keep too much. Oh, back, back. Get the truck back over here. Maybe I'll give it to us. That put you guys out of your misery. There we go. We'll take it. I know I can do better. Yeah, I apologize, but wow, that was brutal. Okay. Well, I'll be horn swoggled. We did it. Okay. Oh, jeez, I did. Oh, the my parking brake lights on this thing. That's out. So I'm slapping the brakes on and off. I don't know if they're on or off now. What's it say? Have any indicator anywhere? I guess I can put it in gear. Not on. Okay. That's a cool model, this truck. I haven't, oh, you know, what am I been thinking? Slacking at the, you know, I'm a slacker. I gotta do that. Uh, wouldn't that stiletto skin look cool on this truck? Oh, I think so. I wonder how, I think the uh, Kenworth logo might be optional. I don't know. It might work on this truck. I don't know. I'll have to look. kind of like the way I got it all set up with the uh, the stripes coming through that uh, air cleaner the way they do and the red stripe putting a red top on there. It's kind of funky. And then the ivory or the gold rather is ex pretty much starts on the, that lower flat lip and then the outside of the big base circle under that red bit is white. I don't know. Little things like that. I like shooting for that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, as always, guys, appreciate you following along. Uh, skin's up on Steam, of course. It's been for quite a while. 
Uh, I'll put the link to the truck the skin in the video and um, whatever else we have going on in here. Uh, take care and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.